Hi everyone, it's Dr. Melissa here. I hope you're enjoying a fantastic summer. I am certainly having a great time with my boys being home from school, enjoying the outdoors, some time with friends and family, and some extra time for rest and relaxation. All of those support good health. Something that's come up in the office a lot in conversation lately is the idea of reactive care versus preventative care. And that's something that I want to talk about really quickly here today. If you want to just manage your health by reacting, then basically what that means is you're not doing anything to support health on, on an ongoing basis, but rather you're going to sit back and wait till a health challenge arises. And when that happens, you react to it by using the appropriate therapies, interventions, or coping mechanisms that you need to get you out of that crisis. If, however, you want to look at the approach to health as more prevention being more important, then you need to be looking at what things are you doing to prevent health challenges from happening. First of all, I want you to think about which of those approaches makes more sense to you. If you believe that just being reactive is what works for you or your family, then right now you don't need to do anything. Just sit back basically and wait until a health challenge comes up and at that time then you react to it. If however it makes more sense to you to be more preventative with your health, then I'm going to challenge you to think about what steps are you taking right now to ensure that health challenges don't crop up. How's your diet? How are your stress levels? Are you moving your body? Are you connected and enjoying social time with other people? Are you getting enough rest? Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting adjusted? Those are all habits that will support health in your whole body. Now if you're already in this preventative healthcare mindset, my challenge to you is going to be to take that a step further and actually look at the whole wellness approach to your health. We're not going to get into that right here, but if you want to hear my perspective on it, I invite you to watch the next video or check out the blog post that I wrote about reaction prevention and wellness. I hope you're enjoying your summer. Remember, enjoy a summer holiday, but don't take a holiday from your healthy habits. I hope to see you soon. Till next time, thanks for listening.